and the body was right there. The tarp-wrapped body of a nude female now called the tent girl. I just knew that somebody out there missed that girl somewhere. Somebody's got to know that she's missing. It was a murder mystery, capturing the Georgetown community and even catching the attention of a young man from Tennessee, sweeping him up in a dark obsession. The first time I stood here was in 1987, and here it is 2015, I'm here and it's different now. Back in 1968, Todd Matthews' father-in-law discovered the woman's body wrapped in a tent and dumped off US 25. The guardrail wasn't here, the roads changed its shape slightly. No one knew her name, and for decades, she was called Tent Girl. And when Todd heard the story, the factory worker turned into an amateur detective. There were times that we would call people. You know, I tried calling colleges, universities, churches, you know, just emailing them, whatever I could do to try to find more information. But it wasn't easy. Todd says he was spending money to come up to Georgetown and investigate. He says then a series of eerie dreams kept him going. Todd says the reoccurring dreams always involved seeing the woman's face, but one was especially chilling. Now, of course, I asked her, you know, you play along with it, you know, who are you? And she said, cut me out and you'll know. And so we did. The next, the next moment of the dream, she was lying on the couch and I had a butcher knife and I was cutting through the bag. And I could, I could, I could still feel the tension of the material through the handle of the knife. I could hear it cutting. When Todd woke up, he realized he had gone too far to turn back. The scary part was, the thing I can't explain, the butcher knife was laying on the couch. So at some point during that dream, I actually got up. And that's when I realized this, this could be very serious, this obsession, haunting, whatever you want to call it. And it's, I think it's what drove me to continue to find her. Whether it was the dreams or his determination, Todd eventually identified Tent Girl as Barbara Hackman Taylor, 11 years after he first heard about her and 30 years after her murder. Todd found an old newspaper clipping written by a woman looking for her sister, and DNA tests confirmed her sister to be Barbara. And I think if I continued without finding her, I think I'd really be in very serious shape right now because I would still be in that factory job, still be spending money that I didn't have trying to put her back. Todd still visits Barbara, who feels like family to him now. While her mystery is over, he says he now dreams of something else, helping others identify their missing loved ones, like Tent Girl. Well, I know it's going to change a lot of things for a lot of people. Covering the news, Brianna Gilroy, LEX 18 News.